Hi guys, this is Kim and today I want to talk to you about A Fire and Stars by Audrey Coldhurst. This book is about a princess who has been betrothed to a prince since she was little and now she has to journey to his kingdom to marry him but she falls in love with his sister. Also she has magic and magic is well outlawed in both her country as well as the new kingdom she has to journey to so obviously she has to keep her magic hidden and as always with such things chaos ensues. I only gave this book three stars because I did not connect to the characters at all or to the romance. The characters for me felt pretty flat other than the two princesses no one was really given a character at all and even those two their characters as I said, felt really flat, they weren't really developed at all as far as I could tell and I just didn't connect with them. Also the romance between them, I just, I didn't feel it. I like the idea of the romance and I really really appreciate the romance but it wasn't that I felt it. I did, I read it and I was like, oh okay, she's falling in love, I can see it. But it was like, oh like I feel it I could see it but I couldn't feel it and, and for me those two points were pretty big points because it just yeah the, the plot itself it wasn't anything special but it wasn't anything bad either it was just pretty average so having the characters fall flat like this and also having the romance not catch my interest kind of really kind of really took the book down for me. On the other hand, I still enjoyed myself by reading it and it was a really easy read, so I didn't read it too badly. Also, there was one point which is pretty much going to be the main point in this video and like just for this point, I would have rated the book five stars. Like the diversity in this book is so, so amazing. And it's just like, forget the characters, forget the plot, it doesn't matter. Like. This world they live in is so amazing. I was really tempted to just give it five stars just for that. But alas, there is more to a book than just diversity and the world, so it ended up with three stars. But as for the diversity, there is diversity in two main sections, one of which is sexuality. And obviously, as the synopsis already states, two princesses fall in love, so obviously there is a gay relationship. But other than that, there are a lot of non-heterosexual relationships, but there isn't any kind of spotlight but there isn't any kind of spotlight pointed on them or anything. It just it just is. Like no one is asked like are you gay? Are you straight? Do you like men? Do you like women? Do you like anything else? Whatever. It just doesn't matter. Not at all. Like it's nowhere stated whether the princesses are bisexual, are gay or thought to be heterosexual before they fell in love with each other because it just it doesn't matter. There is not one character in the book of whom you know their sexual preference. Yes, obviously for some people they are described as having a husband or a wife or a lover or whatever. So for some people you see who they're with at the moment, but it's never stated and in the whole the whole way the world is set up, it's given that just because they're married to a man now doesn't mean they've always been interested in men or they're only interested in men. They could have just had a female lover before or just because they have a female lover right now doesn't mean they're into females. Like they just, they're like whomever. Or so to make it short, in this world, it doesn't matter whether your partner is male or female or anything else. In this world, you're just with whomever well, not whomever you love or fancy, but whomever has the power, because obviously this is taking place in a court setting, so people are paying attention to power and rank and social standing and stuff like that, which obviously isn't good either, but that's not the point. The point is sexuality doesn't matter in this book, which is awesome. And the second point is gender roles. And again, in this world, gender roles don't exist women or men are in every position social military whatever they do any jobs it just it doesn't matter whether someone is male or female or someone else or something else for example 
one of the main adults in this book is um, a woman and she's the captain of the guard. And in a lot of other books or TV shows or whatever, if a woman was captain of the guard, there would have been a spotlight put onto that and it would have been stressed how good she is that she made it to the position of captain of the guard. It would like, she's captain, of, she's captain of the guard and she's a woman. Like, look at that. And in this book, no, not at all, because it doesn't matter. Like, now she, the woman is captain of the guard. Maybe next one will be a man and then maybe another woman will take the position, whatever, because truly the person who is best for the job gets the job. Or maybe the person with the best connections, I don't know. But gender doesn't matter. And this is so amazing. To be honest, if there were no names in this book and no description of like dress or anything else, you wouldn't know if someone was a man or a woman. It, it just, it truly doesn't matter. And this is the point, like, and this world that she created is truly a world I want to live in. A, a world I think we all strive to achieve at some point, at some day. A world we would all like to live in, a world we all hope to live in, because it's just sexuality in general, they do not matter at all. And I think this is so incredibly awesome. And as I said, I would have given the book five stars for this alone. But again, that's just one point of the book, one topic, and it is a very important topic, but it, there were other things that I didn't like. So three stars, but yeah. And that's pretty much the end of the video. Then I don't have anything else to say. There isn't going to be a spoilery part of this video, just because I don't feel the need to talk about anything that truly happens in the book. As I said, the plot is pretty average, but I didn't like the characters, but I did like the diversity. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you've read the book, what you thought about it, what you think about diversity in general. And yeah, that's it. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and bye.